and gentlemen, welcome to New York City. The city that never sleeps, perpetually bustling with energy. It's got an immense amount of things to do, places to go. It almost feels like it's impossible to go bored in this city. Now, the Big Apple has a notorious rap for being extremely unfriendly. But I'm here to disprove that New Yorkers are mean-spirited. In an attempt to fully experience the beauty of this city, while pulling out the kindness in New York strangers, over the next 24 hours I'll be surviving in the city without money, relying solely on the kindness of strangers to help me out with food to eat, water to drink, cool things to do, and even a place to sleep at night. And what better place to start than Times Square, literally the center of Manhattan, the center of New York City. As I said before, no cash, so I'm gonna hand you my wallet. I'll be there. taking that. Uh, you might be saying, Carl, what's in that backpack you got over there? So. Nothing, basically nothing, the thing's empty. I have some spare camera batteries, some Vaseline in case my knees get ashy, some lip balm just to make sure the lips aren't chapped so when I'm talking to strangers, they actually listen to what I'm saying, and a little bit of water, because, come on, it's a hot summer day, I'm not gonna do this without water. And I'm feeling kinda hungry, so I better, I better get to it. It's time to ask some strangers for money for food. Thank you, Dude, we just struck off, thank you. Yeah, I just got more too. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Goddamn! Looking for love from strangers, so do you have any cash? No, 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 no money, no. I'm trying to find some cash. Do you have any extra cash? I'm doing 24 hours in New York City with uh, no money. That's your problem. <laughs> Dude, we're barely five minutes into this challenge, and I already have seven sweet American US dollars, baby. Let's go. Oh, I don't even know what to do with my. It's honestly incredible. That took zero time. Okay, so the goal is to experience as much of New York as possible. Climb skyscrapers, see all the landmarks, and of course, visit all the museums. Hey Siri, what are the best museums in New York City? Uh, so we have the Metropolitan, the Museum of Modern Art, the Guggenheim, the American Museum of Natural, I'm just gonna go to one of these and try and see if I can get in. The trip has already begun, let's get into it. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust is my friend or my fault. I'm a drop, yeah, give me that clever as well. I remember back when I was younger. Hey, hey, are you going to eat that? Nah, I'll fuck it up. Thank you so much. <laughs> free food! Fuck yes! <laughs> are you really going to sell that? are you kidding me? Oh my god. Dude, free salad? I don't dislike the video. I can, don't, no. No, they like it for the commitment. Yes. Yes, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mets. One of the only free museums in New York City. Luckily, we can just waltz in. No entry fee, just go in and get another genuine New York experience underneath our belt. So let's go do that. So I can't just walk in. Correct. Um, only New Yorkers can pay what you wish. Everyone else has to pay full price. A full price adult ticket is 25. Ooh. Or do we just sneak in? Ooh. Ooh, sneak. Let's try. Go, John. We then spend the next hour and a half basking in culture, learning so much, and even meeting a couple of new friends. This is sick. Wow, that's many magazines too. Until I ran out of water. Do you have any cash? By oh, chance? I have a credit card, man. I'm sorry. I can't find water. Do you mind if I have? Yeah, no, I do mind. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's okay. No problem. <laughs> I've been asking. No way, man. I've been asking. Oh, uh, yes. All right, you got it. Uh, what? I got oh. water. Yeah, what? thank you. Okay, so we're refreshed. We're refreshed. We're feeling good. What is the next thing we do? Well, we snuck into the mat. Yes, so, so it's time for us to step it up a little step bit. Step it up. We're going to try and sneak into the top of the rock because that's the most iconic view in all of New York. You can actually see the Empire State Building. It's going to be beautiful. The only thing is, it's very difficult. I don't know how the hell we're gonna pull that one off. That's gonna be a little bit tough. You walk in like you own the place. Watch it. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, 100% chance that's gonna work. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to sneak up 70 flights of stairs, and I have just the trick to get me up there for $0. I can't find the camera. I think I left it at the top. Remember which floor, any chance? So 7, yep. 6, 9, or 70. The, the one where you can see over. So right now I'm talking to one of the supervisors upstairs on 6, 7. Okay. Johnny, can I send the guest upstairs? Copy that, I'm gonna send him up. Thank you. Amazing. Look at that. 850 feet in the air with uninterrupted views of Central Park, 
the Empire State Building, and all five boroughs of New York. Yet another tick off of my New York bucket list. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm gonna leave you yeah. very soon, and I, I have things to do. But I have people to meet. I'm gonna go like, out. Gonna I'm gonna go, go out. Tonight? I'm gonna go out. But tonight. you're kind of like my support system. So. Well, you know, is that it? Is it? Are you? So I guess I'm alone now. I guess, jeez. Okay, so I've been walking around the city since Tucker just up and left me. I felt completely hopeless trying to make my way around the city alone, especially hopping turnstiles in front of the cops. How are you doing? Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. Nice. nice. Look, I'm looking there. I'm going to hit the train. I got some money. No, no, we got you. Oh, no way. Thank you. Oh, my God. A Brooklyn Bridge. Appreciate you so much. That was so convenient. Now I just got to find a way to get to Brooklyn Bridge, which is my destination for right now. This will probably be where I sleep if I can't find a place to stay tonight. I still, however, do not have a place to sleep. Tucker did text me, he says he's got a plug to a party somewhere in Brooklyn and it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully I can meet someone who can give me a place to spend the night because otherwise I'm gonna have to sleep in this park. There he is! <laughs> Welcome to the party, baby! You're gonna find someone here for sure. Thank you, appreciate 100%, 100%. You must be blinded by the lights. You came to shine. Watch it look daytime in the night. I'm spending all like 24 hours in New York City without money. Oh, okay. Basically, it's, I have to like rely on the kindness of strangers oh, and like right. meeting cool. like like people that I haven't met before. You want a dollar? Food? Yes. Oh shit! I don't know if it was just the alcohol, but George here stepped out of his way to make sure that I was completely taken care of, even giving me a budget of 10 bucks to get any food at the bodega, purely out of the kindness of his heart. I've been starving and thirsty all day. My mouth is dry. I can't even talk properly. It feels amazing to find people who are just so kind and so ah take that it's like we spent the rest of the night dancing watching the moon dip beneath the horizon as the sky slowly began to wake up first couple of seconds of the day good pleasure meeting you guys right? yeah it was like, random coincidence dude it was a great night appreciate you bro so the time is 6 a.m. We've been all night. I'm so tired, but I'm just, I feel very grateful to have a place to rest my head. I'll see you tomorrow. I think I'm gonna head out, man. Tomorrow, yeah. You, Dude, it's such a pleasure, bro. Thank you again for hosting me, man. I really do appreciate it. It's 10 o'clock now, I can actually go and have a good meal. <laughs> thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Look at that. What a beautiful day. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to gently caress that like button. A lot more adventures coming up. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace. I think the biggest thing I learned over the course of this experiment is that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. From having the cops help me sneak into the subway and getting water and food from random strangers on the street, people are always willing to extend a branch to help you get ahead. And that makes me even more excited to experience life as it begins to open up even more. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.